Hello everybody and welcome to some Kerbal Space Program and welcome to a new series. Yes, I thought for the new channel I would do a science mode playthrough. Uh, I don't have a final objective for the series yet. I think that's something that will probably evolve as the series goes on. Hopefully though, we'll be sending Kerbals far and wide and trying to keep the body count to a minimum. So without much further ado, let's get on with it. And so we start with the obligatory ground sweep, trying to hoover up as much of that easy science as we can. I'll just speed us through that. And now we find ourselves here with science points to spend, so let's first of all just get those first two. And now we have a choice, general rocketry, stability, or survivability. I think I'm going to get survivability because that has the barometer, will allow us to get more science early on, help speed us down that tech tree. Um, I think during the series I'm going to progress through the tech tree one layer at a time, waiting until we've got a complete tier before moving on to the next one. Uh, also, I've got a lot of, well, I've got a few mods installed. I've sort of tried to tone it down. I don't want this to be too mod heavy. Uh, but I think I'll introduce them as and when uh, they come up. But for now, I think it's about time we actually get a Kerbal up into the air. And so here we are on the launch pad with our first rocket. Jeb is at the controls and I have checked my staging lest Scott Manley horsewhip me. We are ready to go, so we shall do just that. We have a whole bunch of science experiments, just trying to get that low atmosphere data. Using two of the mystery goo containers, because quite annoyingly one doesn't quite get you all the science. Let's get the barometer. Let's get the thermometer. And we are all done. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, I'm min-maxing it a little bit with the science. But uh, don't worry, I'll lose interest quickly and that'll, that'll settle down into something a bit more casual. And just as we slow down, I'll try and get Jeb out for an EVA report. And get him inside before he gets blown off into the sky. That won't be much of a problem because the Kerbals do have parachutes now, of course. Now let's detach that stage. Deploy our parachutes. Yeah, and uh, so far so good. Once we land, of course, I will get the science from the rest of it, from the, just the general KSC area. And then we will have more points to go and spend. I'll just uh, wait for the chute to deploy. Taking it sweet time. There we go. And now we will float gently back to the ground. Let's just time accelerate that. Yeah, I already went and uh, collected the atmosphere and temperature data from the uh, launch pad and the runway. As I said, min-maxing it a little bit at the moment. Wait till we get down onto the ground. There we go. Collect the rest of the science. Second goo container. Barometer and the temperature. To where are we? Crew report. Oh, I should have got a crew report from the uh, low atmosphere. Well, I have plenty of opportunities to do that, so no, no real worries there. EVA report. No, a space boot. Spoot, space boot. Space suit wasn't entirely necessary to get out there. Surface sample. And our first mission is a success. Jeb can now go off to the adulation of Kerbal Kind, but not for too long, because we've still got a job for him. And that job is to go bigger and better, to fly further and faster, to climb higher and... Well, it's just the same mission, but with a slightly bigger rocket, so we're just going to go through that at four times time acceleration. Yes, we are heading up into the upper atmosphere and then out over the water just to try and get as much of that science as we can. And just here, as we reach the zenith of our trajectory, we collect all that science and having done that, it's time to get Jeb out to do a quick EVA. Jeb here ably at the controls once again. And with that completed, we jettison our service module and Jeb splashes down into the ocean. 
And with all that accomplished, we just finish off gaining our science, and we are going to need that science as if we are going to go any further. We are going to need a more serious rocket. And to that end, we find ourselves here in research and development. We're going to start by just finishing off that third tier of research with stability, and then with general rocketry. And from there, we are going to move on to advanced rocketry and general constructions, as these will give us the fuel tanks and the launch clamps, which are going to prove invaluable. And so here we are on the launch pad with the fruits of our labour, the Newton Mark I rocket. No giggling at the back of the class, please. So, anyway, onwards to glory or failure, cake or death. Um, I think these solid rocket motors are probably a little overpowered for this spacecraft, but um, the whole thing has certain aesthetic issues, and I think using the smaller solid rocket boosters would, would just have compounded those. Yeah, we are picking up far too much speed in the lower atmosphere, but uh, as those burn out, we jettison them, throttle up the main engine, and we are good to go. We won't be going for a full orbital flight this time, we'll just be going suborbital, just to pick up that return from suborbital science. Um, yeah, I was about to call it min-maxing again, is it? I don't think it is really min-maxing. I'm sure there are people who, who really do min-maxing who probably wouldn't appreciate using that term. People who can max out the tech tree in one mission. That sort of thing. Um, yes, Valentina Kerman is at the controls for this one. Jeb, of course, back down on Kerbin, enjoying his his newfound celebrity status, um, signing book deals, uh, selling sports cars, endorsing his own line of egg whisks, you know, the sort of thing. Let's just start to get ourselves a little further over here. Throttle right up. Yes, the Newton Mark I rocket. Um, I will be uh, naming all the launch vehicles in this series after famous famous British mathematicians and scientists and engineers and that sort of thing. Um, talking about names, I still don't have a name for the series. It's just a science mode playthrough, but... Uh, well, if you're watching this and the title was just Science Mode Playthrough, you know I've had a serious failure of imagination. Right, let's just time accelerate into space, um, because we don't want to be waiting here forever. And there we are, Valentina Kerman becomes the first Kerbal in space. Let's get her out for a quick EVA. And with that, Valentina decides that is quite enough of that, and we'll just collect the science from the science experiments. Yeah, briefly mentioned mods earlier. Um, as I said, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll mention those as and when I come to the various uh, the various parts. I'm not going with any gameplay altering mods in this one. It's just I really should stage this, shouldn't I? Uh, just a. a Basic science mode playthrough, just a couple of parts mods just to give it a bit of a bit of something interesting. Um, we're going to be coming down close to the night side. I don't think I'm going to fire up that final stage. Um, I don't want to treat you all to just a black screen. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to stage the stage the service module. And we are on our way. Let's just time accelerate past all this. Uh, yeah, so mods. Um, nothing like tech life support or remote tech. Fine mods though they are. The other thing I'm going to be trying to do for this series is just to just to keep keep space junk to an absolute minimum. Uh, nothing if I can possibly manage it. Or if or uh, if that isn't possible, I'm sure we can clean up what we do leave behind. Uh, as and when it happens. And as we get our re-entry heating. That is a beautiful shot. This is a beautiful game sometimes. And we have our thumbnail. So yes, we fall back down to curve and just going to time accelerate. Time accelerating the atmosphere, not quite the game of Russian roulette it was in early KSP. 
especially with the parachute out, that was that was just asking to be eaten by the Kraken. But as Valentina here floats back gently back down, just bring it back down to one times. So I'm still a bit still a bit nervy around that parachute opening. I've got it opening quite low just so it doesn't doesn't take too long to get her back down to earth. Kerbin, I should say, not Earth. And as Valentina touches down, that is job done. And so the sun sets on a very different Kerbin than the one upon which it rose. Yes, we have taken our first steps into the vastness of space. Our journey has truly begun. Well, that's all for today then. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just a short one for today, just to get that early housekeeping out of the way. Hopefully next time we'll be on to some bigger and more interesting rockets. But until then... Thanks for watching everybody, take care, and I'll see you next time.